So this is the beauty of uh, grouping, is that you have all the elements of, in this case, a mouth and a chin, all on one level, all set up in a stacking order. So here we have like the back of, uh, of the mouth grouped, and then we have the tongue here, which is I think three layers back, and that's grouped. The teeth are in front of that, and then the mouth hole and the chin shape are all grouped together. That kind of hides everything, makes it look the way it's supposed to. And to reorder your groups, you would use the, the bracket keys. So the open bracket would move it down and the closed bracket would move it up. Um, Apple or command of either of those will move it to the top, the very top or the very bottom. And if these weren't grouped, you would end up with it looking like this, where it's taking it all as one shape. So each each line makes up a segment of the, the drawing, the drawing as a whole. Uh, so without grouping, you'd have to take the elements like the teeth and the tongue, the mouth, all that kind of stuff, and put it on separate columns. Um, but with grouping, it's all right there on one one level. And uh, the auto in-betweening will look at each group as sort of like its own individual shape and tween them separately, if that makes sense. So you don't end up with um, like the mouth mixing in with the teeth and the teeth twisting and becoming the the lower lip or something, you know, which is something that will happen if you don't group your items. And the, the process of grouping is actually really, really simple. You would just make whatever shape you need. You connect the, I hate when this happens, there we go. You connect the ends together, fill it up. Just basically any shape that you want. You don't need to have a fill at all, to be honest with you, to group something. And then you just select what you want to group and hit Apple or Command G. And there you go, it's groups. And it doesn't have to be one single thing, and you can do groups inside of groups, layers and such. So you could add a second line to that, select both of those together, like so, and then group it. Now you have the group and another group, and you can just dive right in just by double clicking. And it isolates that section. And if you want to get out of it, it's as simple as just double clicking outside of that image, it takes you back out. But because all these are on the same column, the same level, um, you can just edit them all right there. You can do, move the mouth if you want to, then you go up here and move that little, I don't know what that thing's called, but it's the upper lip. You can reshape the jaw, the lower lip, and you can, um, you can shape them all together at the same time. You just grab the, the magnet tool and just kind of push around some vertices and bam, bam, shazam, you've got yourself um, something different. Um, or you can jump in and do the exact same thing, but isolate that one specific path, the set of vertices, that line, whatever you want to call it, and leave the other ones untouched. 